Welcome back to Elden Ring. It's been about a month since I last played, so I'm really rusty. So let's take a break from the area that I was doing before, the Halig Tree, which is pretty much the hardest area in the whole game, I think. And let's do an easier area to de-rust. Alto told me about a spell that I'd missed called Terra Magicus or something like that, and I just looked it up on the wiki. And apparently it is somewhere in a cave that is about here, near Rhea Lucaria, that I haven't been to before. I didn't just miss the item, I missed the entire cave that it's apparently inside of. So let's check out this cave. It should be pretty easy, I think. Rhea Lucaria was so long ago. Academy Crystal Cave. Most of my muscle memory is still there, but I am kind of pressing the wrong button occasionally. Probably going to drink a couple potions that I don't need to drink. Oh yeah, I'm also testing out a couple weapons that I think I was kind of testing out before. Like, there's this one which is so big that it's good at kind of stunning opponents, and this one, which just has a really cool special. Okay, that was a bit unnecessary. Nope. <laughs> Wrong button. Grass. Applaud. There we go. You have to applaud when someone makes a weed joke. Try blood loss. I don't think I'll need to pull out any fancy tricks to defeat what's in here. Bugs. Mm, two ways to go. That one has a light. This way it doesn't. Ah, dead end. Maybe. Yeah, it's a dead end. Oh, I lost my mental headcount of how many stone sword keys I had. I don't remember.
Hmm. I'm sure there's some way up there. Maybe after the boss? Hmm, striking. Required ahead. Let's pull out our trusty flail. There you are. Actually, do I want to use one of these other ones? Bastard stars. Sure. Try to wind it up. Come on, I gotta break their poise. There we go. Bye-bye. Oh, I know that spell. Oh, wait. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought that was my laser beam. The lead-up to it looked like it. Wait, what is the special on this one? Ah, right. Crystal release. Oh right, I recently learned Fancy Spin. Hmm, let's not return actually, because I think there's more here. Yeah, precious item ahead. I actually already have a new spell, so I guess we're going to get two new spells. I think I want to replace the Celebrants, or no, the Bastard Stars. Let's replace that with our good old Wing of Estelle. I always skip past the weapon I actually want. There you are. This is a really long lift. Academy of Rea Lucaria. Wait, why are there so many bloodstains here? Don't tell me you just ran off the edge. Uh, yep, they just ran off the edge. Okay. Terra Magica, that's the spell. So, from reading it on the wiki, it creates like a sphere for 30 seconds that if you're within that sphere and you cast magic, it boosts the damage it does by, I think it was 30 or 35%. Which is huge. I mean... Laser beam? Plus 35% damage? Hello? I could one-shot so many more bosses. Okay. Whoa. We're fine. Not on purpose. Okay, so crystal release that we got from defeating the bosses. Scours area with a violent rain of crystal shards. 
It takes 41 in, so it's actually a pretty high level spell, surprisingly really high level. It takes 38 FP, which is quite a lot, only one slot. We'll try that out. And where is the other thing? I think it's, there it is. Only requires 20 int. Very low requirement. Only 20 FP, just one slot. Curious how big of a radius it is. Let's try it out. Let's test them out on a giant, I guess. Let's try crystal release. Ah. Okay, it's not directed. It's an AoE around you. Can I hold it down? Just tapping. That's just tapping it. Now holding it down. Nope, does the same. Okay, Terra Magica can't be on horse. Oh, wait. No, you can be on horse. I just accidentally switched my weapon. Okay, so it's a pretty small area. Definitely not going to be casting that and then, like, dodging around. You do have to be able to stay in one place. But yeah, it's just, what was it, 20 FP? Yeah, not too much FP. Lasts for 30 seconds and boosts your damage by 30 or 35%, which is really, really good. I haven't had much luck with AoEs as far as them being actually useful, so... I'm not really hopeful about the... Uh, um... Crystal release, but Terra Magica sounds kind of amazing. No point in using it for just like a single enemy, uh, for just like weak enemies, I mean. But for a stronger enemy, like a giant, that could actually be really huge. Like, let's try it. So, uncharged comet. You're out of range. That might be a surprise hit, so ignore that. Non-buffed, not surprise hit. Uncharged. Eight hundred and sixty-eight. One thousand one hundred and seventy-one. When you're in the buffering. Yeah, eight hundred sixty-eight again, and then. 1,171. That's a huge buff. But yeah, it'd be better cast when you're near enough to them and then stand in the ring and then just like unleash a flurry of them. Okay, another undiscovered thing that Alza told me about is an abandoned mine. I looked at where that is, and it's next to an Everjail, which I also haven't discovered, so there's an abandoned mine somewhere here, and then the Everjail is here. This is the Land of Dragons in Kaelid. Yeah, I've been to the Crystal Tunnel, but that's actually on a whole different level, way below where we're at right now, so I guess for this upper area, I think I just never looked at this like little outcropping here at all. Dragon doesn't spot me. Also need to be on the lookout for anything else. The ball over there. Ah, that's just for more FP potions. Oh, um, I think there's a statue that can be broken by a giant or something large. Yeah. Try luring out the monster. Do I have to take the dragon all the way over there? I think that's the closest thing. I guess so. Wait. I kind of feel like I hear something up here. Eh, let's try the dragon.
Can't you move any faster? Wow, it's really not that motivated to follow me, huh? Oh, there we go. Gonna leave it a little bit of health so I can maybe shoot it to get its attention back if it stops following me. that oh here it is no 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 keep coming Yes, 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 yes. Ah, yes. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Hi, that would have been a little bit easier. See how much Terra Magica I can get off. Uh, I don't think this will reach, will it? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yeah, that spell is fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad I have it. exactly sure where that abandoned cave is, but let's just do the Ever Jail. What do people say? Try sleep. Butthole ahead. Okay. I have all the tactical information I need. Sleepy butthole. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was so easy. Battle Mage Hugus. Hundred and twenty two FP. Is that the most expensive one I have? Mm, well, most expensive one I have equipped, but there's a bunch more I don't have equipped. Hugus came from Celia to study the Hyma Conspectus at the Academy, where he became a battle mage. Hyma scholars seek to quell conflict with cannon fire and the gavel, but Hugus developed a longing for it. Yeah, it's technically like here, but where you actually get to it from is kind of the other side of this, this big gap here. It's no wonder I missed it, really. Um... I might be able to make that jump, but I'd rather just take the intended route. <laughs> Poor doggy. Oh no. The virgin's coming for me! Uh. 
Oh. Shit. I could try to save this. Or I could teleport. Okay, no. We're teleporting. <laughs> Please put a rest in peace message to the dead doggo. Okay, I will. Wimpy Dimpy. What the f the Wimpy Dimpy? What? I'm trying to make nonsense noises for, like, rest in peace, Rippy Dippy. Rippy, I don't know. <laughs> you deserve better than butthole. Leaving a message for the doggo. Not that one. Can I look at my own? Oh, I can. Maybe... No, I definitely want the horse. I have no idea what's actually in here, by the way. Try backstepping? Oh. Oh shit, I guess backstepping is the fastest way to travel. Oh no, I rolled. Oh no, is that... Ah! Um... Afraid that thing will come to life, but it's not alive yet. Uh, I'm dead. these machines were left in here. This was a really cool design. Malformed bow in the shape of a pair of poisonous snakes. Imbues arrows with poison through pagan magic, revealing its true worth when used with poison-infused arrows. Used by assassins known as the Formless Serpents. That is such a cool bow. Target lock. What is that? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's dead. Oh, it's just a rat. There's a mage somewhere up. Oh, I see him. Most of these are probably gonna hit the ground, but let's try it. Oh, nice. 
Nice. Thanks, Loretta. Hmm. Guess if I buff myself, this might not be too bad. Oh yeah, it's really good actually. That's what I meant about jumping required ahead. You can get up there by climbing the bodies. Or machines? They're not really bodies. I think it's a dead end, so I might as well just go up there now. Okay, is it just me, or do those, like, inner s fabric, whatever those things are, look like strips of bacon? Venomous fang? Wait. That's a weapon? Oh, it's a claw weapon. Causes poison buildup. One of the weapons designed for gladiatorial combat used by duelists who were exiled from the Colosseum. The black fang protruding from the bronze snakehead is coated in deadly poison. Imagine dual wielding those. That'd be so cool. Fire required ahead. Hmm. Well, the Celebrant's Fire Skull is... Well, does fire damage, obviously. I guess I'll try that. Or just magic. Oh, they're already half dead just from that. Oh, there's another one. Let's take this one out so I can focus on one. Yeah, this is a really low-level dungeon. Gold Scarab Medallion, or... What are they called again? Talismans? Increases runes obtained from defeated enemies. I think that's it. There's one little pathway I didn't check, though. Yeah, I never went this way. Okay, just a couple items. Oh, there have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey. 
along the dark path of the Empyrean, from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well, and to the very end. Lady Rani has departed along the dark path. Now Lady Rani, I pray that you... S wait, 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 hold on. What is that? Crest. Carrion filigreed crest. Lowers FP consumed by skills. Yeah, let's take that. Yeah, I figured I should speak with some of the characters I haven't spoken with in a while just to see if something's changed. And obviously it has with EG. And I know that I'm missing more of Ronnie's quest. That is something I'm going to do. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. So continuing with Googling things, some of the more obscure stuff that I might not get. Um, remember the person we spoke with? I think we last saw them at Fort Height West. We cleared that place. They spoke with the demi-humans and then they were sad because it didn't go so well. And then they were looking for the next ruler. Well, that's where we last left the quest and there is more to it. We had to Google what to do next though because I had no idea. And it turns out the next place that we find them because they're no longer at um, Fort Height West. They're now at the throne room of Stormvale Castle. As well as, is that Nefeli Lu? It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told Father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Are they going to be the new ruler? I think they'd make a great one. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Thank you. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Farewell, I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. For the time being, at which time I'm raising I hope it... I wonder if I can go there now. Oh, hey, you're in here. Do you like serving them much better than uh, Godric? Ah, you is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust, so I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Uh, sure. Hmm. 
general stuff. Oh, that's definitely unique. How many? Oh, I have nine of those. I'm good. Bandit stuff. Don't think I want that. Yeah, I'm good. Wonder if anyone else has shown up in here. Hmm. Yeah, let's check back at Fort Hyde West. Yeah, so he just he doesn't seem to be there. I guess I really do need to become the Elden Lord for anything to happen with that. I'm guessing after you finish the game, you can still continue to do other things. We did some Googling on how to continue Ronnie's quest and found that if you go to Rena's Rise, which is right next to Ronnie's chamber, Ronnie's place. So similar, I have to remind myself, Rena, Ronnie, Rena, Ronnie, Rena's place has the portal that Ronnie took. So... Yeah, I'm going to continue the quest by doing that, but I just noticed as soon as I went up this ladder, I don't know if... Like, I know I went here before, I just don't know if I went up before. Like, did it allow me to go up? Or was there some something blocking it? I don't know. Did I just miss this chest? I don't know. Oh. Snow witch set. Snow witch robe. Snow witch skirt. Try those out. That sounded really cute. Oh! Adorable. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. I love it. Ronnie rocks it better than I do, though. Oh, it looks very warm. Looks nice. It's not a dress, though, but it is a robe, which is kind of. Sort of a little bit like a dress, I guess. Yeah, I'm just like a snow... a snow witch. Hmm, still like the deathbed dress. I think the other piece was like a skirt. Yeah, a snow witch skirt. Oh, it's just got bare feet. I think I'm just going to go back to what I had before. Cute stuff, but doesn't quite work for me. Here we go. I have no freaking clue where this is going to take us. Einsel River, Maine. Have we not been here before? I mean, we have. Yeah, over there's a bonfire we've already gotten. So I guess this portal isn't so much to take you to a place you've never been to before, so much as to tell you that this is where you need to go to find Ronnie, I guess? <laughs> Miniature Ronnie! It's a key item. A doll resembling Ronnie the Witch. From head to toe, every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Oh, it's adorable. I guess... I just explore this place? Okay, I'll have to Google it, and apparently you just rest and then try to talk to the miniature Ronnie a bunch of times? I've already done it twice and nothing's happened. Oh, oh there we go. Dogged fellow, aren't we? Third time's the charm. Merely thy habit to talk to dolls. Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. 
the name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee, I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me as eliminate the, ba the name of I will not. Okay, the baleful shadows? What? What and where are those, though? <laughs> I get to the next step for Ronnie's quest, and every time I'm like, okay, what now? Okay, some more googling later. Uh, yeah, we found a baleful shadow. It's near the Lake of Rot. Where we were before was over here, so yeah, I'm glad I didn't just search this entire area. Oh, shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. That Rani the Witch cometh to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. Beautifully fought, my thanks. T'was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now, I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Discarded palace key. Let's see if I can figure out the next part on my own. Key to treasure chest for carrion princesses. Okay, well that has got to be none other than the chest that is with Renala. Yes. Dark Moon Ring. Now the miniature Ronnie doll is just like gray and lifeless. The chilliness is gone, feeling now like an empty husk. There's no response. But yeah, here's the ring. It's a key item. Ring depicting a leaden full moon, symbolic of a cold oath. The ring is supposed to be given by Lunar Princess Ronnie to her consort. Ronnie is an Empyrean, meaning her consort would, by rights, earn the title of Lord. A warning is engraved within. Whoever thou mayst be, take not the ring from this place. The solitude beyond the night is better mine alone. We'll see if I live to regret that, taking it, but... Right, that's a symbol of oath. That probably... Uh, I can get rid of this now. That probably goes to this after Estelle, natural born of the void. I think we needed a ring of oath to get in here. And I believe that is going to lead to this whole upper area that we've never been able to get to. This thing here that looks like it's up is not. That's below it. But first, they did say tell Blyde and E.G. that I love them. I don't know where Blyde is, but I know where E.G. is. Let's see if E.G. has anything to say. Just what they said before. In that case, let's see if we can get in here. Well, yeah, the sigil's already gone. something big in the distance. Oh. So pretty. Yeah, finally we're up here. Well, I think I'm going to save exploring that for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore the Moonlight Altar.